I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Bellroy Tokyo Wonder Tote, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. At the time of this review, there are only two sizes of this tote. So this here is the 14 inch size, which is a 12 liter capacity, but they also have a 16 inch size, which is a 14 liter capacity. So you have a little bit of extra space there, um, which is pretty solid. This is the deep plum colorway, which is a little bit controversial on the team here. Some people love it, some people hate it. It just kind of depends on your preference. I think the biggest issue that people have with it is that even though it's a deep plum, it looks kind of brown. Um, so it really depends on how the light hits it more than anything. I personally like it. I think it's like the more I see more of a purple in it than I see in a brown. Definitely personal preference, but something to keep in mind. Um, if you are a big fan of purple, it might not be as purpley for you. Uh, uh, in terms of external features here, it's pretty simple. We've just got these two carry handles, which we'll talk about in a second. And then we also have on the back here, a luggage pass through. So if you are somebody who likes to use rolling luggage and then carry a tote with you, this is a really great option for that. It can just sit right on top. Um, and it does have this kind of triangular design. You can see it's a little bit like skinnier at the top and then tapers down. And that allows this to stand pretty easily on its own. I mean, you can see sitting up like this, um, it's standing on its own. And then even when this thing was completely empty or at least marginally empty. I didn't have a ton in there. It was still standing up. So that's a really great feature. Um, a lot of totes, they can lack that structure to remain upright. So that is pretty cool if that's something that interests you. And in general, it just sort of feels padded pretty well all around. Um, you can see a couple of like blemishes on this material. And that's, you know, comes off relatively easily, but I mean, honestly, with the lighting that we have in the studio here, that's really when I started to notice it. When I was just going through my day-to-day -day life, I didn't even notice. Um, so it has a pretty solid external structure here with nice materials and a pretty sleek look overall. The carry system is pretty simple. It's just a standard tote with two carry handles up top. However, there are a couple of cool things about these totes. So they are like a folded up material. You can see that it's like layered in. This uh, stitching is actually, like this material is one single piece that then was folded over and then stitched on the bottom there. So it feels really like soft and sleek and just solid. And then on the bottom as well, we have these little rubber grippies. So these are designed so that it helps it like stay on your shoulder and not fall off. Um, good for like if you have a slippery jacket this can help you like in the winter time or something like that and overall it was just pretty comfortable I kind of liked it it was like weirdly satisfying to wear it over my shoulder so I did like these carry handles a lot they're also pretty tall so for me personally it fit really nicely under my arm and then um, you know if I was hanging it next down down next to my body um, it wasn't like dragging on the floor or anything like that so I did really like the feel of these handles they feel really sturdy the stitching on the actual bag where they're attached is sturdy as well so i didn't have any issues with that um and so overall really like those so this is the tote when you just have it over one shoulder like i mentioned with that tapered design it helps it stand up on its own but it also kind of keeps it nice and snug against my body i don't feel like it's super wide my arm can just kind of rest nicely on top where it's a little bit skinnier and then that wider base just sort of sits out on its own like I mentioned with the carry handles as well, they're pretty wide um, or tall, I guess you could say. So I feel like I have a good amount of space to kind of keep my arms comfortable. And then if I wanna carry it next to my side, it just kind of dangles down nice and easy and I don't have any issues with that. Um, and I'm five foot six, so that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of um, how far it hangs off the ground. There are a couple different storage options for gear that you want quick access to. So I'm actually gonna start off on the back here where that luggage pass through is. There is a tiny little pocket and it's a little slip pocket. This is designed to fit A4 size paper. Um, I didn't find myself using this much. As an example, um, it fits a magic keyboard. So if you wanted to you know, carry your accessories and you wanted to just like put that in that back pocket, that works as well. Or like it's a good spot if you wanted to really like hide your passport a little bit, keep it safe against um, your either your luggage or against your body. That's a great option. Um, and it is pretty nice in there. It's well padded like the rest of the bag is. Uh, and it doesn't really have 
a like it's a little bit of a false bottom but not really it does come down like right to the very edge so i wouldn't put anything like too sensitive in here but in general it's pretty solid what i do like about this and we've seen this in a couple of other bellroy products as well is this little buckle so it buckles shut but they have put the um buckle that's attached to the bag on a piece of material that you can actually get your finger under and use it as leverage to get that buckle shut. Because sometimes when a buckle doesn't line up perfectly or if it's on a, um, you know, there's like an angle here because it comes up at like a, you know, a little bit of a triangle, a little bit of a curve, that can be hard to like get shut on its own. So it's nice to just like be able to put your finger back there. I feel like it's just like a little bit of a quality of life thing that really just shows that Bellroy thinks a lot when they're designing their products, which is great. On the front here, we have a zippered pocket. So this has an independent storage space from this main compartment. So when you start to pack out this main compartment, if it gets really, really full, you can still, I mean, you can see there's a little bit of, um, space like up top here and it just kind of packs out on its own and i found that that was really great for like i did an overnight with this tote i just put a set of clothes like a change of clothes in here and i was able to fit like a bunch of my toiletries in this pocket which was pretty cool um but you do have a decent amount of space right now this main compartment's packed out with some bulkier stuff which we'll get into so you can see it's really starting to cut into that space a bit um so i am going to show you what I have in here. I have my phone on one side and then the key leash. What I really like about the key leash, um, we don't love in, in general, we haven't had super amazing experiences with this like kind of ribbon type, but it is a little bit more sturdy than it used to be, which is great. Uh, the clip is super easy to engage and disengage. So keys are really easy to get on and off. However, what I really liked about this was that this key leash is long enough to where when I had the tote on my body, I didn't need to take off the tote or take off my keys to unlock a door. I really didn't even need to turn my body that much to get the keys to the door itself. So there wasn't any like, even sometimes when you can keep them attached, you're still like hunching in a really weird way. I wasn't doing any of that with this. So I really, really like this key leash. I think it was a really great length. And then it's just split, it's just like two pockets split down the middle. On the other side here, I have my wallet. And then there are, there's two little pen silos here. Um, and if you want to use like this for your notebooks or magazines or something, and then a little tiny drop pocket here, I have my headphones in there and then a little tube of chapstick as well. So that just keeps it a little bit more organized. Um, I didn't find myself using these pockets too much. I felt like even if I just dumped a bunch of stuff in these two larger side pockets, I still had enough room or I could still get to my gear well enough that I didn't feel like I was missing organization. Um, but if you wanted to add additional pouches or anything like that, you do have the space to be able to do that in those pockets. All right, so now into the main compartment. Like this front compartment here, this main compartment opens with a zipper. It's got a nice little pull here and opens up pretty decently wide. So right out the gate, um, you can see in here, I have a water bottle, my laptop, you can see a notebook and a hoodie. So this hoodie is a little bit thicker than, you know, what you might travel with, but you also might travel with something thicker than this if you get frequently cold on planes, um, if you don't do like a packable jacket or something like that. So depending on what you put in here, it can start to feel really like bulky. Um, the biggest issue that I had, and I don't know if it'll do this because I just had this closed, but I had trouble, you can start sort of see that zipper pulling. If I had a water bottle in this pocket here, I had a hard time getting this zipper closed without really like pulling it together and giving it that assistance. It's kind of a minor thing. Um, and for the most part, honestly, I didn't even like zip this closed. I didn't really feel like I needed it because everything that I had in here was like below this main compartment. Um, so it's kind of a preference thing, but if you're someone who really likes to keep things zipped up, this can be a little bit tight for a water bottle. Um, this is a 18 ounce, yeah, 18 ounce hydro flask. And then I have a 17 ounce Awala. And if I put that in there, it doesn't zip close at all. The Awala is just a little bit too tall. So depending on the water bottle you have, might not fit in this pocket. They also say you can just put like things you don't want seen very often in these pockets, which, you know, that can be a variety of things. Um, but if you don't want to use this pocket here, it just kind of like smucks up against the, the wall of the interior pocket here, which is really great because then if you don't want to even bother with it, it's not in the way, it's not taking away space from that main compartment. If you're not somebody who like, 
carries a water bottle or maybe you don't need one that day or something like that. So that's pretty cool. And then if I take out this hoodie here, you can see a little bit better look at the main compartment. And then you can also see if I open up this front compartment, how big those pockets actually are. So let's say, you know, I only had about this much gear, got this all closed, only had a couple of items in here. Then I have all of this extra space in here to store gear. So like I said, you know, depending on what's in the main compartment, you lose out on a space a little bit, but you know, if you're not packing a ton, it's not that big of a deal. And then we also have the laptop compartment. This is for a up to a 14 inch laptop. Um, I have a 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro and this is pretty well padded. It's nice and sleek up against the back there. There's like, you know, you can see a decent amount of thickness there. And then it does have a false bottom as well for a little bit of device, device protection um, too. So that is pretty cool. And then I have a notebook in here. And then you can see the last pocket that we have on the inside is this sort of like, it's a mesh drop, kind of like drop pocket up at the top. And this is kind of what they, they say it a lot to like keep it out of like the crush zone. Um, and with this pocket, they don't say that specifically, but it is, a, it is a design that we've seen with Bellroy before. And so that would be a great spot for like sunglasses or something like that. However, I just have a mouse in there for right now. I kind of use this as a drop pocket for like, you know, chargers or things like that. Stuff that would uh, go into a pouch otherwise, but maybe I didn't need the pouch or something. Um, however, with how far it goes down into the liner, if you put sunglasses in here, I would definitely bring a case as well, just because uh, if you have, I don't know, I mean, even as an example, if you have just this little notebook here, once you put this in, it's about the height of those pocket of that pocket. So when something's down at the bottom, it can still get crushed by the things that are in there. Um, so really just kind of keep in mind what you're storing, but it has a pretty solid structure, the tote itself, like it's standing up on its own. It's staying open on its own. There's like pretty structured piping on the sides here to keep it open for you. So in general, I think it's a really great option if you're someone who only cares, carries a couple of different, uh, items with you every day. If you're not big into backpacks and you want something a little bit more professional looking, but still pretty casual, this is a really great option. It has really minimal organization, but enough to get you through so that, you know, you can keep all of your daily essentials organized. So there you have it, the Bellroy Tokyo Wonder Tote. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to summer travel, and we'll see you in the next one.